fleet decides they want to crush me. And they could well decide they want to crush me. Hemorrhaging sailors here. Where the heck are you going? Don't don't head out to places you don't have advantage. Alright, so they're sending their transports out to attack me now, which is a strange, very strange technique, but whatever you think works for you. And the Ottomans think now is the time for Mamara. It's all going on for me, and it's all pretty bad. I should just permanently station uh, boats over there in Mamara. I mean, it's almost worth just leaving you there, but I need a good... need a good unit on it. Where was the fourth fleet? Lost, uh, lost my thoughts on almost everything here. Yeah, you're the fourth fleet and you need to keep the, uh, the Portuguese at bay. Well, you know what, let's just have another. We'll overspend on uh, admirals just so that I have them everywhere. We're in a bad space, so I'm going to want to do it. Uh, Alwyns will surely help us out in our time of need. Good lord. I like how Jake started in 1639, two sessions ago. Yeah, it's been rough, and it's been slow. Been very slow and very rough, and more attacking coming in. You, I'm fairly confident, can make it, but I will reinforce you nonetheless. Just everybody wants a piece of me right now. It's like the worldwide revenge against all the piracy that's been going on. Olwyns, this is your chance to take down a flagship. You're leaderless, but that's okay. You're also leaderless, not so okay, but you should have reinforcements coming in. In time. And you have the big reinforcement coming in. Hopefully. Oh, good god. It would all be so much easier if I could just take out a few of my targets. Ming in due time, though. Oh, that's grim. He won't win that, though, because I will have this done in time. Good, that is the bulk of his navy here crushed. So let us first only measure in terms of ships that are in one piece. Hadamir. Eh, it shouldn't have to be Hadamir, but I'm going to leave 30 ships under command here. And I won't be using Hadamir, let's actually free you up. They won't be able to sink you no matter what, we're just too strong for that. Which leaves you. Huh, trying to repair. Not on my watch. 20 of you will hold this. That leaves the remaining 68 there for whatever is needed. You are getting trounced. That's good by those ships. Oh, the Ottomans decided to join in with their flagship. That's a shame. I don't like your hunting stuff. It's just not working. Get over there and do what you can. The Portuguese flagship has been captured! Nice. Very nice. We need to get that over to the Manatine Museum to join the other Portuguese flagship. Gladly fly proud over it. Just hope we get to keep it. We still need to win the engagement. And uh, that's with Spanish reinforcements coming in. Are they? Are they actually going to the Gulf of Kidits? No, it doesn't look like it. Where are they going? Just everywhere. God, this fight's a mess, but we will persevere, and we have to come out on top. There's no other way. White piecing the Ming in about eight months should help out. Why am I losing engagements here? Should not be losing. This cannot be! Alright, with that, I have far less to fear from the Portuguese. And we managed to get their war galleon there, which is nice, but I don't like you just sitting around here. Um, then again, I do need somebody to hold the hold the line, so to speak. The Spanish do still have a fleet to worry about. Well, for me to worry about. Dang, dang, dang it all. 
do I keep you here to scare the Portuguese away or what? I'm winning because they're not taking what they said they'd take, but uh, keeping them under blockade isn't helping me that much right now. And if they decide to get stuck in some godforsaken island, I would be able to take their land if Spain weren't in the war. But Spain will probably be around for a while, so I'm left none the wiser. We'll keep you here for now just to try and keep those suckers at bay. Damn, the situation is ripe to take Malacca, but my fleet is not. Hang on. Maybe my fleet is. Those are some heavies. Am I making any more? No, that's a galliot. Am I making any more? No. Alright, folks. Let's make this happen. The only difference is I don't have... I don't want to repeal my transports because they're helping blockade the Ming right now. It does help a bit. Actually, blockades help more than you might think in this 9% war score from it. It does help. I don't have to wait long. Let's just hold out. But in the meantime, let's get our boats together. Uh-oh. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Something else has to be dealt with first. Whew. Good grief. Set to inland sea. Dealt with as one would expect. Going to scuttle the navies that we grabbed there because it will help. Mm, galliots are nice. Galliots are very nice. Saves me building more galliots. That's you folks. You galliots help out, keep the Ming at bay. He might get ballsy when I've taken my heavies away like this. How about these ones? They'd need a lot of repairs. But that's not a good reason not to keep them. Being massively over foursome, it would be a reason, but we're not massively over. And this is pretty do or die warring, so yeah, do get back and repair up. Let's get our heavies together here. Okay, I could do without two more inflation right now because it costs me big money, but we'll have to do with it. At the end of all this, we should make big do- Hello, Ming! What the hell are you doing over here? Uh, ooh, ooh, that isn't good. I fought this war for Darby. Now the British are eating peasant revolts. And I just lost my war goal. I need to take it back. But the revolts in Britain is a good way to get extra, um extra case for uh, for peace out of them at least. By the way, rate what you can please. There we go. And take Darby and we're all good. I'll get you out yet, Ming. What could you recommend as the first pirate nation to play as? Naxus? Definitely not Naxus. This is so incredibly difficult. If you want to go full piracy, start as Palambang. They get an event early on that will make them turn to piracy. Pretty cool. These guys just don't quit, do they? You guys are holding it fine against Portugal. Thanks for that. It's tempting to scupper the Spanish fleet while you're there, but I'd probably lose Jupiter. I could ditch Jupiter, but quite like having Jupiter there. Say Jupiter enough, it stops sounding like a word. 17 heavies, that should be plenty to go into all of this. See that galleon that I've picked up, though? I'm going to ditch it because it's too out of date for me. And it wouldn't be useful in the fight. 16 is more than enough for all the, all the everything that I'm going to be going for. Right, how does that play into my incredible plan here, though? I detach all I need and hopefully get uh, another bit of blockade done on you. Hopefully, he says. You guys are looking good together. I don't need to specifically send down my transports right now. I can send down my heavies just to scuttle the others, and Hadamir will do a great job of that. 
I have every confidence in his abilities. All these frigates are busy not making me money whilst you pirate Bengal. That is bad. If I have pirates, they should be doing piratey things. Even if it's at great risk to their well-being. That's part of what you sign up for as a pirate here. You guys don't know what to do, do you? Fools. You cost me a lot of sailors and stuff around here. There we go, that should be enough of a defense. If they do come for me. As expected, I'm attacked here. Oh, I did not expect to be attacked by so many heavies, though. Well, I guess you guys didn't think that one through, did you? Okay, so with this, I should be able to get what I need out of the British. They're desperate for peace, thanks to the, uh, the rebels. Do I really want these two bits of land more than the money? 500 ducats or all of Ireland? It means I just never have to worry about Ireland again, which is strategically useful to me. It's also land that I can't core, because it costs an arm and a leg. Yeah, in terms of admin, I just don't have that admin. It's actually worth focusing on admin to get what I need out of that, but that's a couple of years away. No, I just can't afford it right now. It's also t it's also costing me dip for lands that I don't have uh, claims on in all of this war. Whereas Derby is good, and Coastal Ireland is good. So that's pretty agreeable. He doesn't have any allies that I care about, so that's actually a pretty good peace deal for me. We'll take it. And that gets Britain out of the war with me at least, not that they mattered much at all. Ah. Haha, <laughs> Britain are bankrupt. Maybe they'll explode into something quite nasty now. Uh, Darby needs to be protected as I core it. It's also sadly reformed. But it's a coal province and I want that autonomy gone. Uh, I want all of this cored as well, but that could be hard going. We'll core the fort first. Ugh, it was also uh, not, not Catholic enough for me. So that's a couple more to core when I have uh, about 80 or 75 admin. That's fine. I'm actually finally gaining a bit of absolutism up to my 20 cap. So let's try and not increase autonomy anywhere anymore. 20, ad uh, 20 absolutism is pretty much nothing, but let's try and uh, enjoy it. be nice if somebody offered me knowledge sharing. We don't have a lot of knowledge here. I really need some dip for me. Brit explosion would be nice, but not likely. I mean, who would rise up here? He's the cultural union, so he wouldn't get anything going on here. There's no English cores. At worst, there'd be some Irish nationalism or Fali separatists, and that's fine, because then I can just eat them up once they're ready to be eaten. Hello! Pasai! I see you want to add to my Manatine Museum. I hope I didn't lose one of my flagships for that, because we are taking our own pounding here. But there we go. One flagship get. This is what we have a massive amount of durability for. Uh, camel box, nothing to care about. That was over there. Those sailors are going down fast, though. Alright, goody goody. It's a couple for us. Um, I'd like to celebrate with some raiding, but we lost all of our um, privateering around here. Damn, we made we made bank on that one. He shouldn't be able to get his forces in and around anymore, or at least not so easily. Okay. Goodbye light ships, goodbye transports. Liquidate them into sailors for us. That's a Malacan fleet. Fine for me to also scupper. I want to destroy their transports, so their ability to move their troops around. A bit risky to go for you, but... Uh, I don't think we're so banged up that we can't take care of paltry non-heavies. 
I have 11 heavies, and those are the ones that I'm chasing away right now. Which is fine. Fine in my view, at least. I don't want to lose these guys, but... We'll get there. Is Saturday your favorite day of the week? Not sure I have a favorite day of the week. I don't really mind Mondays, and... Uh, yeah, I guess Saturday's pretty good in its own way. I don't know how I'm going to feel about days once I go full-time in the streaming, though. Hey, that was a nice amount of heavies to capture. I didn't think of that. It's also costing me an arm and a leg, but what isn't these days? Maybe I should get you repaired up a bit at Sumba, but maybe, just maybe, I should try to stop him from getting any troops back here as well. I don't see his transports out and about, but let's not take the risk. Or I could escort you guys back by heading back with you. And then once we piece out the Ming... Yeah, I think we'll do that. Once we piece out the Ming, my transports can bring the uh, the troops down here to take care of Southeast Asia. And that gets that done, at least. Ottomans, how are you feeling about peace these days, actually? Well, that's one way to make the peace. It doesn't get me the... Um, the ten years of money off of them, though. War reparations are pretty important in all of this. Because the war reparations, what are they? They're like 20 ducats. That's 200 ducats a year for 10 years. That's 2,000 ducats. It's actually worth waiting out against the Ottomans for this, in my view. In my very correct view. We have all of the war score, but um, that's, that's good money. That's very good money. I need to squeeze every last bit of war score I can out of this chump. I don't think the blockades will be enough to nail it, but... Uh, let's, add, let's add a bit more to it and try to squeeze more out of him. Because that gives me a long truce with Ming as well. I don't like the idea that Ming would have a shortened truce with me. Alright, more successful raiding. Not as successful as we've had in the past. Let's get the core ring going. Spanish, ooh, uh, it's not so good. Part of the reason I have you there is there's an early warning system. I guess this is something I can do. They're going to land over there. I will not let them, at least not so easily. Wild Goose, get on that. Where the heck's my heavy navy? I meant to have a bunch of heavies. Oh, right, well, they are, they are chasing fleets, but... just lost my early warning system for that. Hmm. Oh well. We'll see if they can outfool me. Not long until he really likes that peace deal, and we've made it a whole lot juicier by putting him under a bigger blockade. Give him a few months and he's out. I could score another good naval takedown on him, then that would be that, but also just waiting out a few months will do it. Good grief, this is a ridiculous world war. Truly ridiculous. Your capital is in danger? My ass is in danger? No, we're good. I'm relatively confident that these guys have what it takes. Oh, they went up there? I guess they changed course. Somebody says, is Greenland an island? And I say, what is a Greenland? I don't see one. Alright, besides really spreading out among the islands, which I suppose is okay, except that's where his transports are, and I don't like him transporting that much right now. Come on, just a little more, and you're out of here, auto friend. I wonder if me being up here would be enough to change the tides. Getting on my island, so, and that's getting on my uh, war exhaustive nerves. Occupied home provinces? Wait, I, oh yeah, occupied, I thought I said blockaded. That's what my head told me, at least. Well, that's a very agreeable peace deal. 
the Ottomans paid me five grand and war uh, reparations, and I get eight and a half years of truce with Ming and the Ottomans, and I free up my navy massively. So yes, please. Well, they lost a lot of ships. Got that going for us. Now, about my navy. We've been under a lot of stress in all of this. Sardinia. It's a shame they wouldn't give me fleet basing rights. They probably would if I was friendlier with them. And then I could uh, have Spain under blockade here as well. Which, I'll be honest, is quite tempting. But I could also just station a whole, lot, a whole bunch of galleys here and have him very worried. I like the sound of that. I'll kick you there so nobody gets any funny ideas about taking me over. And I shall send you folks over there under command of Killer DJ to hold them down. And you folks get back and rest because this is costing me an arm and a leg. Okay, it's the Ottomans out, that's the Ming out. The Ming, what does that mean for me? It means I'm going to get all of these boats. All of them. I'm going to bring them back here. Uh, no, we're going to bring them to Satsuma and get my army to Satsuma for better movement. And then it's time to destroy Pasai and friends. Manchu, don't think I've forgotten about you. You'll be going down too. not be enjoying it. I'm really actually quite scared of losing my capital. That uh, heavy fleet of mine has a long ways to go, but it does help defend this. And it does get me a few victories, which don't give a lot of war score, but they give some. Really, I just have to wait for Spain to be tired of the war, which is a bad... well, it's, it's very unfortunate, but... Hmm, damn, they got a lot of heavies over here. And that's the Spanish fleet. Why would the Spanish bother over here? Well, just causing me pain is what they're doing. I'm not going to let that stop my privateering of the English Channel, though. Because the English Channel is too much money to throw away. Okay, is that all of my boats? You folks are about to run into who? Manchu? Where's Manchu? What's a Manchu? Oh, there's Manchu. With 21 boats, but they're all transports. I want to scupper the Manchu transport fleet. That actually works to my advantage. Get out there. Use Hadamir if you must. He's very fast. This is the more important fleet, though. I'm gonna ditch our our two flagships, because they're going to be part of the uh, the War Museum later on. Yeah, they're fine just there. You folks, however, are going to get on these boats, and you are going to kick Malacca out of this war. Godspeed, you'll need it. Uh, I will not leave you there leaderless, however, despite my action, which just makes you go there leaderless. I don't know where Klimpy is. Think, Jake, think. Klimpy was in Britain. We don't need him there. You get Klimpy. And then off you trot. Siege Ibiza. Uh, you can blockade there. This is true. I neglected sieging up Ibiza before. But I don't really have any transports around here to make that happen with. Or do I? No, I got you. And I got you. So yeah, we could, uh, we could make something of that. We will once I can focus there a bit more for now. I wish to destroy my Asian friends. There we go. The Manchu have lost their ability to move units around at all. Means I have to take the fight to them here, but they're still quite wimpy, and I am very relatively strong. Don't want your wimpy transports. None of these are outdated. I don't need Hadamir on this. So what I will do is put the Manchus under blockade so they don't get any funny ideas that they're winning this war. 
And this is all inland sea, so even if uh, my friends in Versailles come up to attack, we'll have the galley advantage. Let's go and crush those Southeast Asians. Ever been to Ibiza? No, I have not. Is it worth going to Ibiza? Damn them, they're spreading out here as well, which is bad news for me. However, that's Malacca making a move, which is good news for me. Uh, that's fine. If he leaves his units there, then that leaves me with uh, one very happily uh, occupiable country there. Who's getting high naval attrition? You guys are. Well, that's not good at all. Maybe you should go back for repairs. There we go. I'll we'll go back here and get all repaired up. And hopefully maintain their mission. Okay, yeah, you're doing what you're doing. As long as this place still... As long as yeah, my capital, Draken, stays under firm control. It's all good. Oh yeah, you guys. That's lots of galleys. And this guy can go away. Vigianagar's truce is up, but surely he won't attack me. He has no reason to. Except the reconquest and the fact that I'm getting absolutely blasted here. Hang on, there's eight transports. Could be useful, but could also not. I could bring you folks over here to do some sieging. Ah, Ibiza's not a big issue right now. Could be down the line, but not right now. Whew, okay. I fear for the trophies near Portugal, that Spanish fleet is pretty close. Yeah, and it's pretty big, but our fleet is better and fully repaired, and it's just one trophy. It would be great if they came here because this is an inland sea, but the Straits of Gibraltar is not. <clears throat> you guys are doing okay, alright. And the English are enjoying a whole lot of problems right now. I really need good Cassus Belly, and I don't have those at all right now. I also have no institution spread going on, which is so tragic. At this point, I just want to conquer places that have um, manufactory, like Pasai. But it doesn't come easy here, not at all. I'm just going to be in the technological lurch for a while. Okay, here we are. I want this province, and I want it now. If I take it, people can't go between here and there, and then I take their capital and I kick Malacca out of the war, because Pasai have good war score, but uh, Malacca will not like having their capital occupied. And that gets rid of a lot of units and a lot of boats that I don't want to have to deal with. Where did manufactories spawn? Well, funnily enough, right here in Johor. Look at that. Which means I'd like to take it, but it's not an island, so we don't do that. That's an island, and it's gone. Too bad. Ottomans are now gunning down Austria. Spain is not helping out Austria, so Spain lose a friend. That's what they get for being so pathetic. Yeah, so pathetic that they're causing me problems. So off we trot. We should take this quite quickly. And then it's it's operation clean up for me. Oh, all of my colonists are free, but uh, do I have colonies still underway? They didn't steal colonies from me, did they? Yeah, we still have uh, go to what's it? Gorontalo and Lombok. I don't claim to know where those are. Well, Sumba's done at least. Where? Goron, Talo, and Lombok. Ah, right, I'm looking right at it. We even had people go there recently. Ah, it'll be done soon enough. And what was the other one? Lambok. Close enough. It was Lombok. Uh, 
Uh, both of them are practically done already. I wouldn't mind taking over some land here. Give me some more eyes on the Spanish-Australian situation. Then again, these lands are a bit better, you know, more base taxi. So let's just take over what we have here. Well, that one I can take whenever. Nobody else can colonize it. So let's take... Let's see where the uh, colonial trade region ends. Ends here. And that's a good place to get uh, privateering from. Allow them to kill. Ah, they're taking this over, which is a bit of a shame for me. However... Malacca should be down and out. I take this first, of course. And then there's no need to spend uh, almost all of my forces drinking up my uh, my sailors here. So get over to Metel Watsits. And then get Malacca out of this war pretty please. It's not under blockade, is it? Well, let's change that. Much better. Not happy with all his occupations going on here, but as long as I can get him out of the war quickly, it's all good. Otherwise, the Portuguese are nothing to worry about. I mean, they're not getting my uh, my province. The Spanish, eh. The Manchurians, also eh. But I have them under so much blockade, they're not going to get war score against me with any reasonable uh, velocity. My sailors go way down, that's unfortunate. Hopefully I can find somebody to raid in due time. In due time. Also, Beijing is long overdue a spanking when it comes to raiding. Would you mind privateering in Beijing for me? Just a little bit, just to get it going. There's other raiding I would quite like to do. I mean, you do it in Gujarat, right? But there's, yeah, not enough in Gujarat, actually. Beijing is where it's at. The Channel, again, those Spanish just keep trying to sink my uh, my privateering fleets rather than doing pretty much anything else, which is a shame. I could go on the aggression, and it's very tempting to go on the aggression. I have war galleons after all. I'll try my luck with it. It means that the Portuguese can do nasty things, but uh, honestly, I don't have much to fear against the Portuguese, in my opinion. Uh, oh, man, there they are! And <laughs> they're running away to Asteras. That's a damn shame for me. Well, if that's the case, then let's just score some victory against, uh, against the Portuguese. Hopefully take out Malacca. Okay, those are transports, but transports are enough to cause a bit of a ding. So get over there and help out as you can, Hadamir, please. And then get back. They should be able to hold out there well enough. And somebody was afraid. Yeah, I should be able to scuttle his transports, which is the, uh, the main thing I'm looking for here. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's very not good. The Spanish fleet is destroying us. I'm not saying we can't win this overall, but our boats are really damaged. His are not. Dang, I'm going to have to beat a hasty retreat there. And we lost it. We lost our, uh, our prize from the Portuguese. Damn. Okay, well, I guess those Spanish uh, boats... Are some, oh, it's Portuguese and Spanish. 252 General as well, or Admiral. Damn, I just can't commit to Spanish uh, Spanish fights these days. Too much going on in the world. And if he lands on Britain, that could be problematic for me. Still, at least we secured uh, some victory over here. Competition is pretty good, but I don't think I like... Nah, forget it. I'll go with the competition. Oh, so much exhausting warfare going on. I don't know where uh, 
Duxawax is. I still don't know where it is if it takes me up here. What was it called? Duxy Wax. Oh, right, this this godforsaken island here that's not even a... Uh, not even a full core, so I'll just take the one manpower there. Thanks, it's very insignificant, but it'll do. And they're really spreading out here, which is unfortunate. My colonists are going to be sent packing home, no doubt. And it's taken me forever to gun out Malacca, which is a shame, because they might look at the war score and think, you know, it's not worth our time piecing out, but I'm fairly confident taking the capital will be enough to get out Malacca. Then I just piss all over Pasai. And then someday... Someday we'll know peace. Until then, though, I should probably start getting a spy network going on Britain. I'm even hemorrhaging power projection because I don't have a I don't have rivals, nor can I set rivals because I'm in perpetual war. I should have France and Lang Shang, but uh, unless I enjoy a moment of peace, I will never be able to set those. been hours and we've passed five years. That ain't right. Still, at least we can keep our esteemed leader. He is only 37, looking to be a great leader. Hopefully they don't die or anything silly like that. Oh boy. It's going like that, is it? Those Pasai transports still live. I'll scupper them once I can move over there. I'm losing this war pretty badly, but uh, all in due time. Length of war is a real killer for the AI. Them getting all these lands is frustrating though, because it really bumps up the old war exhaustion. Dang, that's a lot. And they've got me blockaded. Yeah, sure, Cornwall, but who ever cared about the Cornish? I feel like you could hammer them one on one. Even here a bit damaged. Uh, we have a galleon, but let's take him on. All wins, you know what to do. There, where did they come from? That's a lot more of them. That's a lot more than we four bargained for. But he is landing here, and I don't like that. In the Cornwall, is he? Well then... Ah, I don't have connection to Cornwall by land. That's actually a, a real pain. That's a really big pain. Lots of merchantmen here, though. Maybe, just maybe, I can send all those boats over there and scupper them, but that would be a pretty nasty fight. Still might be worth it, though, especially if we have better leadership. They got a 243. I've got a 556. He'll be landing on the 24th of January, so I'll be sure to send him over when I can. Damn, this is what I mean about giving the Portuguese too much of a free ride. Cornwall hasn't been renamed yet. Alright, we can fix that. Cogwall. As it always should be. That's a blast from the past for me. Probably going to need to rebuild my heavy fleet over here. It's become clear to me now that I don't have the heavy capacity to take care of Western Europe. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That'll bring me up to 15 heavies here. And that should be good for a, a 45 wide attack. Finally, Malacca's down. Malacca is out. And I'm sick of you being allied with Pasai, so get off of my case and get out of my face. Okay, that gives me far fewer people to fight, but it still gives me a fight. We should take this back so they can't go to and fro as they please. No, I should take Palambang. That strands those units there. I'm going to have you here so his transports can't move around freely. He still has 10 heavies somewhere. So let's give a bit of leadership on both these fronts. 
Yeah, I'll give Marty as well. Okay. Now Pasai gets crushed, then I'll liberate my lands. Then I crush Manchu at long last. And hopefully nobody new declares war on me during that time. Wait, this is a show superiority war? I'm never going to get war score out of that. And I pretty much just have to wait for him to get tired of this war or blockade him to death. And again, I just showed that I don't have the navy to do that. Alright, best of luck with this fight. It's not a good fight, but Haramir should be able to make the best of it. I don't like this fight. Hopefully he doesn't have a flagship. He doesn't have a flagship because I stole his last one. We have better morale and we have uh, far more people that can attack him than he can attack us. But that's not a given, so let's hope that we crush them. Malacca immediately claiming us. Okay, that's looking good for scoring hits on his heavies, because I need him to not have those heavies. Heavies do damage. Oh wow, that is good for us. That is very good for us. The fool runs away. We don't actually steal any boats. Hmm, what a shame. Well, let's take out our frustrations by raiding Gloucestershire. Not bad. Get back to base, though. That saves our, our little island for a little bit. I can't afford all of this, but I got to. Will the auto truce expire before Jake can win one of the other wars? That auto truce is fairly long, it's until 72. Uh, I think we can wrap up all these wars, it's just a case of will somebody else attack me. People that could attack me are Vigianagar, France, and Denmark. Potentially Brandenburg? Yeah, Brandenburg hate my guts. All of those are clear threats. That's also a clear threat. Let's take it down. Hang on, where are those trans... Those are their transports. They need to die. Don't really want to fight that Palambang stack. Hopefully they bugger off. Darby is ours. I feel like I lost some boats there. I did lose. In fact, I lost the engagement overall. But this should change that. Now my heavies are in. Hold on. I lost somebody by the coast of Java? Please don't tell me that's my stack that's meant to protect Draken. No, the coast of Java... Oh, it's some uh, some pirates that were desperately trying to get away. Okay, I will do a big lot of raiding once this is done, because I need to get my sailors back. Poor guys. Lost on a retreat. I dealt some damage to them, but not enough. Where are they going to now? Heading over to Ban 10. Okay, so they'll be sticking around here. That means their heavies are coming to fight my not-so-heavies, and they don't have a, a place to run to. What a sad situation. Okay, right, he had, a, he had a different thought about that now, didn't he? There are his heavies and they're about to go. They're about to go very far goodbye. I would really just like to capture the Pasai army somewhere. Now, I could just fight them. I mean, really, I shouldn't be that scared of fighting them. But I would really like to take care of that fleet. Send the injured guys over there. No big loss. And then I need to figure out what this guy's up to. Where is he going? Maybe he's going up to his capital, and it's hard for me to say. So many islands occupied, besides such a perennial pain. I need to truly crush them so they never get any bright ideas again. When it comes to coalition... I 
I mean, that's a nice and cruel thing to do to them right there. They still have this, but that's far less for me to worry about. Or something like that, you know, I will do something um, that's good enough to crush their spirits and their men and their everything. Come on, Pasai, give me a reason. Again, with the Spanish crushing my, uh, my piracy ships, how could they be so cruel? Go and do literally anything else, man. Alright, he's keen on heading north. That's no big deal. Oh, crap. He is getting reinforcements. He's getting a lot of reinforcements back here. That's more than I can reasonably handle. I need him to not be around here. So it's actually worth me getting away from here, hoping that he goes for an island of some sort, and then having him trapped there. But I don't have somewhere to safely uh, deposit my units to either. And I'm running low on sailors. But he's running low on many other things. I think he was able to get all of his units back. So they're not as isolated as it was useful to have them before. And he still has uh, the province that it was all about. Troublesome. Very troublesome. Raid Indonesia for sailors, that's not a bad idea. There's no anti- no, there is anti-piracy going on here, but not in Moluccas. Who's even doing anti-piracy around here, I wonder? Right, think, Jake. Use that thing on your head and think. If I take Ban 10, I crush his transports, and there's nothing he can do from this side. That's a good enough thing to think. Um, let's actually hold out here for one turn of the month so I can get a lot of everything back. Lombok is self-sustaining. Wonderful. What are the Spanish up to now? It's a simple one against nine, as it always should be. Would be a great advantage if many of their units went over there, but oh well. All ones, you're just not fast enough, man. Oh, well, we are fast enough. They were coming to me. Good, that frees me up from them having a lot of ways uh, to destroy me. Take Ban 10, and then we keep them stuck over here at least. It does mean I'll still have to fight them some way somehow. I'll probably just take this back and then see as it, see as it goes from there. Or lure them all over here and then, uh, then take this side for myself. All done. That was quite a few of them heading over there. But they just uh, they just managed to take it back, didn't they? Took it back real fast. to mine just keeps picking off uh, little guys that want to take over Nexus and Porti. Probably even worth the investment for those islands, but I need land. Oh, bollocks, the Portuguese. Well, there's ways around that. Let's give them an unwelcome surprise. I can show my superiority like this. Alright, well we got this for us at least. Let's ditch a couple of light ships, get you guys in here, and more than that. Let's be done with his transports once and for all. I don't think he has anything on this island, so Klimpy, detach your cannons, have them take that fort. The idea is to get them all to rush over here when I let go of the blockade over here. Then again, there's this fort that's causing me problems. I'd need to take it down very fast if I wanted to make something of it all. 
Ah, damn, we got Somerset. But oh well. Oh, double damn. There's the Spanish fleet again. Uh, well, I guess the Span. I guess the Portuguese get to take that part of Britain at least. Spanish near capital, Jake. Nah, we should have that taken care of by these guys. Should. Can't guarantee it, but I'll believe it. Alright, now goodbye, Pasai fleet. There we go. Should be relatively speaking nothing left of them. We get a few sailors back from that, but uh, that's a heavy deficit of sailors to be eating. Shouldn't have to worry about much else here. It's very tempting to go and retake all my islands if I'm not in a hurry. Um, that can be done once that fort falls, this all falls quite easily. Then again, there's no real naval threat. So what I could do is just send a bunch of you there, maybe keep a couple of heavies, and use... of you, use... eight of you, and then pick up eight of you folks and go take some islands. There, that's an eight stack if ever there was one. I'll be good for taking this, and this, and these. And then I at least stop hemorrhaging war exhaustion from occupied provinces, I rob him of war score, and I have him trapped practically where I want him. I have him trapped more where I want him if I actually dedicated a few more boats to stopping his rampant production of everything. Man, look at those guys just tempting fate. But he has a fairly large army here. So dislodging him from Pasai proper won't be easy. Well, God, this is exhausting. Infiltrator in Parliament? That's fine. And rest in Draken is nothing to worry about. Not for us, at least. I could blockade this, but it's going fine. Okay, let's go and save some of our provinces. Let's start with these ones, because they're easy to get to. Thankfully money is looking good, but sailors can't be bought with money. Gotta remember that. And there we go, another successful colony for us. Meaning, if I had a colonist to send, I'd send him over there, but that's not how this one works. Alright, Pasai still have me on the ropes because they have the war goal. That's unfortunate for me, but I'll just have to deal with that. One, two, three, four. And the rest should come quite easily. I should really just send my privateers over to Malacca to get sweet revenge against them. Bengal is probably good money. Hell, it's very good money looking at that. But who else could I reasonably spare around here? I'm not doing nearly enough for this um, of this privateering lark. You'd think with all these frigates we'd do a lot more of it, but who is currently being privateered? Beijing, Bengal, Lubeck, Genoa. Alright, well, Genoa's a poor investment in my view. Where the where are the guys on that? Genoa's nice and all, but there's more money to be made in Constantinople. From my point of view, at least. Beijing is still good. And there's Lubeck and Bengal. I think I dedicate quite a lot over at Lubeck. It's just that I don't have enough uh, units for all the stuff I want to do here. And it costs a lot to have them. Let's not worry about it right now, though. It costs sailors to invest in more. 
Sailors that I cannot afford to invest. Cruelty of mercenaries. Goodbye prestige then. I swear I just got that one. And that's about all that I'm willing to do for my subject. I'll spend another bunch of money. I mean, it's conversions I'll have to do down the line anyway. And they have much less autonomy than I do. I also have what I need to get some claiming going on Britain. Where do I even want claims, though? His good coastal land, truthfully. I'd like to connect all this up, actually, so I'll take Gloucestershire. And I can defend a whole lot better. It shouldn't take too long for me to wait out Portugal. Spain's a different story. They really like warring. But what can you do? I can get my blooming land back is what I can do. And I will do. Let's get these fellows. And then I'll be off to other places to save real soon. Okay, it's a whole lot calmer without the Ottomans and uh, Ming breathing down my neck. But Pasai have to pay for this dearly. That's that down. Now I have to strongly consider what's worth doing here. I could slaughter him piecemeal or... What would be best for me? Ah, we can't get over there, can we? Alright, fair enough. But I would like to take these lands back because they're looking a bit uh, occupado. So we'll grab another eight of you, but it just needs to be regular old merc scum. The rest of you just chill out. Mephalium comes in saying good afternoon. Well, welcome. Welcome to the wars that never end. And even if a war ends, it just starts back up again. Again, they want to kill my, uh, my beloved pirate fleet. I really need to maul that Spanish fleet. That's the 11 navies that I made. Let's get them over to Ulster. Hopefully none of them get um, caught along the way. Did I tell you to do that? Doesn't feel like something I tell you to do. You're going to get wasted there. And they did somewhat. Oh my. Naxus gets trade company boon. Well, I don't really do trading. Just give me the money, please. I like money a lot. And get on that boat. It's time to save these provinces. I don't anticipate having to worry about any Pasai fleet, because it's mostly right there. Oh, how the turns have tabled, Pasai. You were once able to pick off my islands, because my units were all too busy, and my navy also spoken for, but now, now look at you. It is I who shall have the last laugh against you. And I'll figure out exactly how that laughing goes in due time. Good lord, okay, I think they just keep going to places that they get uh, creamed in. It's time to turn it all around. There's the Spanish fleet. They are very well led. But we're just better than they are. So let's give them what's for. There we go. We got that at least. These folks will all come together and move around accordingly. And you folks are on your way to save there. Good. I'll certainly want these back as well. So I'll send another eight. There's a lot of organization to go on for this. 
more than I would ever normally dream of spending, but needs must, and we must need. No! Drakenfell! Man, these guys have let me down.